Hello, welcome back to Summer of 58. Um, this is a continuation sort of video, so that's why the intro is separate. I'm adding a section from my last video into this video uh, for time constraints. I couldn't have it in last time. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. This is just a bit of a warning for a bit of an uh, abrupt cut in the middle of the video. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the video. Night two. Very, very nice, I must admit. I'm surprised I made it tonight, too. This is gonna be like a FNAF thing, and I'm, uh... There are no places for strangers. Clock stopped at 3.07. Fuck me. Oh, there's my camera. Can I review footage? Wait, can I do that? Alright, turns out I can't. I wish I could have reviewed some footage. Alright. Here we go again. The fuck was that? Still can't take the six, huh? You're not gonna let me, uh... You're not gonna let me... Kind of just relax for a bit, game? Hmm? Asshole. Alright. Fam, can you... Can you not knock on the doors? Like, I, I, quite frankly, I don't like it. I don't like when you do that. Fuck your scary songs. Did I close the main door again? Why is it always at night? Can we not have scary stuff happen at daytime? Just so I don't have to deal- Oh, if it's in the dark! <laughs> oh, dude, you are fucked up on so many levels. You good? You good there, homie? I guess she's not good. Can I close the door? <gasps> can I? I can. Where in the fuck did... Box wasn't here before. We must. It's locked. It would be interesting to see what's inside. Yeah, you're right. It would, but I, I, I just want to open it and get the fuck out of here. You know. That's all I want to do. Why would you do that? There's a spare light bulb. There are spare light bulbs. There were spare light bulbs. My English is extremely fucking broken. I don't even want to know. You know what? I'm just gonna say a coyote got the dead body. Let's go with that. I don't see why that's such a bad thing. A coyote came in and... I don't think there should be running water in this place. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. What's this box?
You guys, did, have you guys watched my last video? Remember what happened when I picked up the key off the toilet? And how there was a little drip drop? How much do you want to bet that the exact same spook is gonna happen? What did I fucking say? I told you! And the box is fucking gone. You bitch! You scare me and I don't even get to keep the box. I completely overlooked that. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I did not see that one coming. I did not see that one coming. I'm not scared. Why Why the fuck would you think I'm scared, guys? Come on. What the f fuck are you on about? You guys are out of your mind. I'm not sweating. I swear. Who's breathing? Khrushchev? Is that you? Where? What? Oh. I found the key. But I don't feel very fucking safe. It's okay, it's okay. You want some? I will fucking fight all of you. Don't get in my way. I want to open the box. Oh. We're safe. <sighs> I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Why am I wearing a hoodie? <sighs> it's not even hot in my room. It's fucking cold, but... What happened? I didn't get to read. Night of 58. Oh, we went back in time. Of the severe thunderstorm. There's no light in the building. I think. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Yvonne. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. I think you might have summoned a demon. Am I an adult or am I a child? Can I can I actually weigh myself? Oh no! Come on. Man. I think it's still fucking creepy. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. What the fuck happened here? Oh, it's a shave. Someone found and hid my key to the cafe. To the safe? To the cafe. Ah, yes. My cafeteria is locked in a safe. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Can I? What is going? Okay, there we go. My controls just went all out of whack. What broke? Is the real question. And why the fuck was I here in the first place? Guessing I'm the teacher. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the dictator. Dictator. Let's stick with that. It's all because of the dictator. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We could make it. We could make it. Help me. Uh, what an asshole. I just kill killed? <laughs> okay. I just called one of my students and asshole. How the fuck did Oh that was the smash, the bird fucking smashed through the What an idiot. What a dumbass. Actual dumbass. The bird is just fucking stupid. You filthy child. Oh my god, okay. Uh, talk about evil. Why is there a fire? I need to... Sp 
Grace sleeping gas so that older children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. Didn't you just say they're all asleep? If it's not under their, uh, the filter is missing, the glass is broken. I ruined my gas mask. <clears throat> we work together with Alexei Sergevich. We work together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director, sorry, the dictator, <laughs> had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our uh, 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 agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Sergevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. Oh, dude, you're selling out the kids? According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. I believe that the means of many outweigh the means of the means of one. And right now you are you are putting like let's count. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're putting twelve lives for one. You're killing twelve motherfuckers. Sure, I mean, it's just their kidney, but let's be honest, they're gonna die. Need to put the gas under under the door. Get back to the cla 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 classroom. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or re re relatives. And he, become, he became my favorite. Because he is so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy. Although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I asked. In the afternoon, I had a meeting with Alexei Sergevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Yakov will help me with this before going to bed. Children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to sleep. This can distract them. All right, well. It's only sleeping gas. Whoa, what the fuck? Hi. Where the fuck are you? Okay, uh, I guess, I, I guess Mr. Sergevich had different ideas, huh? And we're okay, look at that. But yeah, I mean, so far I'm, I'm loving it. It's great. It's a lot better than I expected. I'm not even going to lie. Like the, the, the actual trailer, not the trailer, but the, the video that they have on Steam. I didn't watch. I just saw the pictures and none of the pictures had like this room or uh, like any of the, the creepier stuff. Oh, hi, Lennon. You st just saw the train. He's still up there. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, might as well like and sub, right? Don't want to miss the next one. Now, if you didn't like the video, uh, sub anyways, because you might like the next video I put out. You never know. But yeah, see ya.